All right, so more partial fraction decomposition. So again, we start with one over x squared, x minus two. And uh, because it, it works the way we want it to, uh, we need, so here, here notice that uh, we have a factor, this factor, that has a raised to a power bigger than one. Whenever we have that situation, we have uh, the setup, we have a over x plus b over x squared, and then good old c over x minus two. Now we're gonna multiply both sides by this denominator, x squared over uh, x squared times x minus two. Um, think about if you were to multiply the left-hand side here by this denominator, that would just clear that denominator. And we're left with uh, one is equal to, and multiplying the right-hand side by this denominator. Um, I'll go ahead and do that now. We have a over x times x squared, x minus two plus b over x squared times x squared x minus two plus c over x minus two times x squared x minus two. All right, so now let's see. Um, 1x here will cancel with one of these there. Uh, we'll still have one, there was, that was x squared, right? So x canceled that one of the x's in x squared. That will cancel with that, and that will cancel with that. And we're left with, let's see, one is equal to a x x minus two plus b x minus two plus c x squared. All right, so now let's distribute some things through. Let's see, we have one equals, so I'm gonna distribute this ax through to both pieces. So I have ax squared minus two ax. Distributing the b to both pieces, I get bx minus 2b, and I have cx squared. And so now I'm gonna collect all of the th things with x squared together, all the things with x's together, and all the things with no x together. So I have one is equal to ax squared plus cx squared. I got those there, right? two x squared things. Now the two x things, the two things with x's, so we have minus 2ax plus bx, and now the, uh, the thing, or things, depending on the problem, there may be more than one thing that has um, no x's in it. In this case, we only have one thing, so it just sits here. Okay.
And now I'm going to use the distributive property in reverse to write this as a plus c x squared negative 2a plus b x like so. And just now think, ask yourself, can I move back? Can I work backwards? Um, if you were to distribute this x through to both of those, right, you'd see you get a cx squared and an ax squared. And same thing with uh, this term and this term. All right, so now I'm going to use that uh, algebra trick uh, where two, when two polynomials are, are equal, they have the same coefficients. So I can write one as zero x squared plus zero x plus one. And we can equate coefficients. So zero is a plus c. 0 is negative 2a plus b, and 1 is negative 2b. All right, so let's write that down up here. We've got a plus c equals 0, negative 2a plus b equals 0, and negative 2b equals 1. All right, so let's see. One of these we can find right away, right? Uh, negative 2b equals 1. That tells us that b equals negative 1 half. All right, so we got b now. If b is negative 1 half, then we, have, we can say negative 2a minus 1 half equals 0. So negative 2a equals 1 half, um, dividing both sides by negative 2. We see that a is equal to negative 1 fourth. If a is equal to negative 1 fourth, that means that c must be 1 fourth. And so now remember what we found, right? We started out with 1 over x squared x minus 2 is equal to a over x plus b over x squared plus c over x minus 2. And so we found now that a is negative a fourth. b is negative a half, and c is one fourth. And so now we're trying to find the integral, right, of we know these are equal there, right? And if you were to do the uh, adding the rational expressions, adding all these rational expressions, expressions, you would see that it would become exactly that. Okay, so now the integral So now this 
this integral here is equal to that integral, which is equal to negative 1 fourth integral of 1 over x dx minus 1 half integral of 1 over x squared plus 1 fourth integral of 1 over x minus 2 dx. Now to set up to use the power rule, I'm going to rewrite this 1 over x squared as x to the negative 2. We have, so for this first one here, we've got negative 1 fourth. It just sits out front. ln, absolute value of x, minus 1 half, let's see, x to the negative 2, where we add 1, divide by that amount, so negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. So this is going to be x to the negative 1 over negative 1. And uh, for this one here, you could use a u substitution equals x minus 2 to get 1 fourth times 1 over 1 ln absolute value of x minus 2 plus c. All right, so now uh, cleaning things up again, 1 over 1 is 1, so I'll just write this whole thing as 1 fourth. The negatives there will cancel, making that into a plus. So we can write this as 1 over 2x, right, because this is going to be 1 over x. Multiplying the fractions, we get 1 over 2x. And that is our integral.